Hi guys, my name is Okoro Blessing in Kiruka, and I'm popularly known as Blessing CEO, your number one most controversial certified relationship and mental expert. Welcome to Moments with Blessing CEO, only showing on DSTV channel 189 Pop Central. Today go hot, to, today go hot. We are bringing relationship, we are bringing controversy, Everything that happens behind closed doors, all the lies, all the cockroaches, I am opening this, the cupboard to bring out all the skeleton. I don't finish for social media, no, not television. Now, we're going to start with a story. A lot of people do not know how I started. I started by being a relationship blogger. From a blogger, I became a certified relationship therapist. I have a lot of people walk into my office every day with relationship problem. And I know that so many people might not be able to afford relationship therapy. There are some people that are in rural areas. There are some people that are not even in the same location. So thank you so much to DSTV and Pop Central for bringing up this wonderful show, Moments with Blessing CEO. So we're gonna be starting up with a story. You know, say story, they plenty from my mouth. So let's read a very interesting story before we begin. So I had the lady send me a message, and I'm going to quickly read it out. She said, Dear Blessing CEO, I love your program on Instagram, and I actually want to share something very important with you. She said, I married my husband as a very poor man. I suffered with him, in fact, I was working and I was giving him transport fare to go and look for jobs. Interesting, very loving woman. But since he picked up, he changed and decided to start chasing different lucky girls. Blessing CEO, the biggest anger is the fact that the job that made my husband rich was my connection. I am telling you this in confidence that I had to sleep with different people to be able to get him that position. Every time I see my husband sleep around, I feel it's a boomerang. I feel it's his nemesis catching up on me. Do you think I should confess? Do you think I should tell him? Because I feel guilty. It's as if I am the one that made him to start cheating. She said, don't get me wrong. He wasn't cheating while he was poor. But as soon as I made him reach, the cheating continued. Do you think it is my karma for sleeping around to get my husband a job? I need your advice. <laughs> Did you hear what she said? She said, and I'm going to interpret it, her husband is poor. You see why I, mean I don't like poor men? You see, you, see, you see the problem where I have with poor men? You never know a true man's character until he has money. That's the honest truth. If you don't get money, you go, they manage, they manage. Now, probably all of you that are looking for potential. He has potential, he has vision. Are you a pastor? You are seeing his future. Not lie. There's something you saw. Either the guy is good in bed or, you know, mostly good in bed. When you've been digmatized, a lot of women are actually blind to see the future. Now, this lady is saying she met this boy, a poor boy. Maybe she saw vision, or she saw his potentials, or she practically saw his um, manhood. He was good in bed. Because most ladies who actually get involved with poor boys are ladies that are digmatized. Yes. So now she's asking us that she slept around. That means she's a runs girl. Runs girl where meets potential runs man. Because for her to sleep around to get this man a job, and this man started sleeping around. It simply means that is his personality, but because he didn't have money or he could not afford those girls, that was why he didn't show his true identity. Now, I'm going to drop my own advice before I open up the phone line for you guys to also drop your own. As a certified relationship therapist, what I'm going to say is this. As a woman, I always say something. This is Africa. Shut up your mouth. Make sure no When we saw... I don't know how Osa, for you, Osa. Pongparo. The truth about it is, a lot of men will always cheat. I don't want to use everybody. Why? Because Africa has given them the license to do that. In Africa, polygamy is allowed. So I don't think cheating is something that 
should make you want to leave your marriage. Yes, but me, if you cheat on me, I will go. But generally, there are some women, I just feel, since you know what you did behind, I feel there are some certain things that is left unsaid. Because as a woman, if you go and start telling your husband that I slept around to get you a job, he will not even use it as an opportunity. If he was cheating and he was hiding, he will not be doing it openly. So me, I'm going to tell the woman, keep the secret to yourself. The same way we hide DNA results. Hide that particular part and keep praying for your husband. Maybe he's going to come home to you. Mm -hmm. So right now, let's open up the phone lines. The number is right on your screen. If you want to share your opinion or give your opinion, feel free to call the number on the screen to share your opinion. I know the men are going to be boiling right now. No vessel. This is it. We men, the truth about it is leave poor men alone. Leave poor men alone. Eh? In fact, sorry, not poor men, poor boys. Assuming this man was an Odogu, you understand? Odogu, when rich men are even cheating, they cheat with class. But the thing with all these poor men, once they just get money like this, they will just be cheating with anything in skirts. Maca infection, gonorrhea, staphylococcus, and all that. That's why I'm always very, very keen on cheating. Even if you must cheat, cheat with a rich man. And there's this thing about riches. Eh? Glitz and glam. So my ladies, I'm going to tell you to be very, very honest. In a relationship, I'm not saying you should not help your husband or you should not help a man. There's a difference between help and support. Because the biggest problem we have is once we meet people we love, we want to give them all that we have. No. We have to share. And that's the reason why most times in a relationship, when a man leaves you or when a man starts to misbehave, you get so affected. We need to understand something about relationship and marriage. One thing you must understand is this, number one. Whenever we fall in love with people, we need to understand that they are human beings, right? So the problem is that the moment we fall in love or we start dating people, we start to see them as denim gods. That's the problem. We start to feel my husband is not supposed to, my wife is not supposed to. I'm going to quote a part of the Bible a lot of you do not even understand. Do you ever wonder why God said forgive 70 times seven times? He actually put out that scripture for your loved ones because your enemy cannot offend you more than twice. One person where you don't like offend you, you go avoid that, you go block them. The people who actually offend you 70 times, seven times is your husband, your wife, your children, your best friends, your loved ones. That is the essence of that. So in relationship and marriage, if you're not ready to forgive and take up all those excesses, trust me, you're not ready to be married. That's why I'm still single and a relationship expert with our relationship. <laughs> it's because I'm still learning how to forgive, how to be able to let go, how to be able to absorb. Because the truth about marriage is, there's something they don't tell you guys about marriage. Marriage is for mad people. If you are not mad, you can't be married. Forget all this lovey-dovey. Anything that comes on the media is content. Things that has been edited, they don't show you the fights, they don't show you the glass bowls. That's why sometimes when you come online, you're always so shocked about couples, right? Couples who are having misunderstanding, and you're like, ah, ah, I thought this was a perfect couple. We have lots of examples of our celebrities online that we actually thought had perfect marriages. But at the end of the day, we knew that there were a lot of things happening behind closed doors. If you want to have a perfect marriage, I'm going to say this. You need to be prepared for the worst. That's why I used to tell a lot of single people, forget what you see in the media. The real marriage does not come on the media. The real marriage does not come on television. The real marriage is buzz, buzz, quarrel, and reconciliation. Forgiving 70 times, 7 times. When you calculate 70 times, 7 times, you understand that that passage was that you have to keep forgiving your husband, your loved one, till the day you die. The, unfor the forgiveness is, so if you know you are not ready to forgive, you are the person that have Akbobi. You understand? You don't have strength to forgive somebody. You carry something at the back of your mind and nobody gets in married. Like I said, we still have the phone open. The number is right on the screen. In case you have an opinion, you want to drop a man, a woman, you want to share, you want to talk to the woman and tell her something to encourage her, feel free to call the number right on your screen. So we are still talking about infidelity in marriage and helping young boys grow up. You know, oftentimes when we talk about young guys you know, helping them. Some people actually drag me online and say, bless him. You know, you see the young boy saying, is that you don't want women to help us. First of all, there's something I need you men to understand. 
A man's responsibility is to provide. A woman's responsibility is to assist, to support. Remember, assistance and support is willing. It is not a woman's obligation to actually support or... Okay, we have a caller. Yeah, we have a caller. Okay, I can hear you. Good evening, how are you doing? Please, what's your name? Uh, my name is Amaka. I'm calling for being Oh, Amaka, nice to have you. Thank you so much for calling. Uh, thank you. Blessing, I hear everything you're saying, but is it not you lying to your husband? I think the lady should just come to you. And whatever will happen, will happen. She has already slept with people to get the job for the husband. Let her come to and let everybody put their hands on the table. I'm not in support of her keep on trying. The lies will just keep on building up and next the mind becomes an end. Okay. Mara, can you be audible? I can barely hear you. Can you reduce the volume of your TV set so I can hear you? Okay, the color is off. I, I wasn't hearing her because of the volume of her TV set, but I heard her say something like, it's not wrong to support a man. I didn't get what she was saying, so I don't want to misquote her, but I pray she calls back. Let's get to hear our opinion. I think she had something very important to say. Amaka, please, if you're, any of you that is calling, please call the number on the screen, and when you're calling, please reduce the volume of your television on your radio, because I will not be able to hear you. So when you're calling, turn down the volume of your radio, your television, or wherever you're watching from, okay, so that I can hear you. So back to the topic before we get another caller. Like I was saying, I'm not in, in I'm not saying don't support your don't help your man. There's a difference between helping and support. You understand? Helping somebody, I see it as laziness. I always say, I it's better you push people than drag them up. Because when you drag people up, you drag them with energy. And sometimes, even you wait a drag person up, you never get power. That's why when you give a man something. Once he doesn't marry you or he doesn't commit to you, you get offended. Men, let me even tell you guys a secret on this show. Any woman that gives you money or that brings you into her house or that says she wants to help you for nothing, wants to use you, she is going to do what Esau did to is it Jacob. She will take your birthright and she will become the man. Now, when you see me saying men provide, men provide, it is provision that makes you the head. It is provision that gives you the mantle. It is provision that makes you a man. In fact, as a woman, we are not even saying be a dangote or be an elomox. If you so do me, be an elomox. <laughs> we are not saying be an elomox. We are saying just understand that your job is to provide. If you have 300 naira, 2,000 naira, that is the school you can afford to put your child. Bring out the 2,000 naira. Let your wife now say, okay, baby, I have... Um, 5,000 naira, let me add 2,000. Let our child go to a 4,000 naira school. That is contribution. Not leaving the responsibility for a woman. It brings insults. When you see a woman hold you on the shirt, insult you in public, it is because of the things you cannot do in private. We don't used to hold Odogu in public because we understand um, what the role that the men are playing. You will see a lot of women, even in domestic violence, they cannot go. Why? Provision gives you a stake as a man. Once you cannot provide, trust me, your wife will sleep around. Your wife will cheat. Your wife will dishonor you. All this one you are saying, a woman is not submissive. Provide. And provision is not even about money. When you bring this money, be able to be around emotionally fine. There are some of you that don't even know your children. The only thing you do is you drop money every day. Your children could not, cannot connect to you. We actually have a caller right now. Hello. So, hi. Hi, blessing. It's me, Amaka, again, calling back for many of you. Oh, Amaka, how are you doing? I can hear you now. How are you doing, Amaka? I'm fine. I'm fine. Thank you so much for calling. Sorry, next one took me out. It's fine. You can go ahead and speak. I can hear you. So do you have anything you want to contribute? Yes, so I was saying I just feel like the woman should come clean and tell the husband the truth. A strong marriage will not be built on lies. Really? Yes. 
So what should she tell the husband? Tell us what she should tell the husband. Because she the woman is watching the show now. That he knows that he's cheating around. And she wants to also confess something. That she too slept with other people to get in the job. So joke has told you, everybody's fine. Are you serious? You think yes. you can actually tell an African man that you are sleeping around as a woman and he's going but to keep you in the marriage? If a man can see that he expects his wife to forgive him, then a man should also be uh, willing to accept his wife. If he cheats, actually, he should put her body on the light to get to job, to put food on the table. But do you understand the story that right now, the reason why the woman is lamenting is that the man is now richer than her? So the man have the ability to actually throw her out and marry somebody else. Now, for the man to be cheating, do you not understand that the man is looking for an excuse to even leave the marriage? That's why the woman is complaining. So if she goes now and tells the man that I slept, he now has something to hold on to. So what if the man kicks her out? What will she do? Then it's our fault for just staying in the house and depending on the man. If you're smart enough to put your body on the line to get your husband a job, then you should be smart enough to also get yourself a job. Because at the back of her mind, she should have known that one thing won't be. Casala go boss. No, no, she has a job, but she got her husband a better job as a head. Let's assume I'm a marketer and I go I slept around with the MD to take my husband to a higher position, feeling that if he's higher, because the, from the way the woman sounded from the message, is like she wanted to honor the man. So she did not give the man a lower job. She gave the man a higher job. And that's why it is hurting her, that after sleeping around to get him to this position, thinking that when he gets to this position, he will carry me along. Now, the man has left me and he's misbehaving. Do you understand the story? Oh, okay, I think the, the caller is actually off. But the caller actually said um, she should confess to the man. I, I, I don't know. But you can call the number on the screen. I think we, we need to get more, more ideas and more opinions. We have a caller again. Hi. Hello. 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 How are you doing? Good evening, sir. What's your name, please? Hello. I can hear you, sir. Go ahead. Hello. I can hear you. I think the network is bad. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Can you reduce the, the set? Can you reduce your television set so I can hear you? Hello. Hello, I can hear you now. How are you doing? Hello? Please turn down your television or your radio set, even if it is your phone, because when it's not turned on, I cannot hear you. Please, whenever you're calling the number on the screen, turn down your television set so that I can hear you. I know you want to be watching. We have another caller. Hello? Hello? Could you turn down your TV set so that we can hear you? Okay. We are getting so many calls. Please turn Hello? down your TV set. Hello? Good evening. Good evening, sir. Welcome to Moments with Versus CEO. So do you have anything okay, you want to share? Okay, let me do that. Okay. Where are you calling from? Hello. Can you reduce the volume of your Hello? television? I can hear you, sir. Go ahead. Hello? Is this a crime? Please. I can hear you, sir. Just reduce the Is volume. Is this a crime for a man that has been provided for a woman before? Hello? I can hear you, sir. Go ahead. I'm saying that... Uh, I'm saying that is it, is it a crime for a man that is providing for a woman before that uh, when the condition comes and there's no more, is it is that to uh, warrant the woman to abandon the woman to abandon the man? No. And be sleeping around when there's no provision for the man again. This has been provided before. Okay. You're asking me a question and you want me to reply? Okay, he actually asked a very important question before we get the, get, uh, the next caller. Okay, he said, is it a crime for a, for a man that has been providing before when he goes down for the woman to start belittling him? It's not a crime, but unfortunately, there is how women are wired. When you don't give us something, we rebel. 
no matter how wealthy a woman is, she wants to collect her husband money. It just feels good collecting from somebody you love. Remember, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. He sent Jesus to die for us. Even as Jesus died for us, some of us did not still believe in God. So it is only natural that human beings are wired to be ungrateful. So as a man, I would say, know the woman that you are married to. This thing is character. There are some women that if you don't have, she would assist you. So you should be able to know, why is this woman coming for me? I always tell a lot of men that come to my office for therapy, know they do booger when you see woman. Now as you take starts with woman, now so she go take follow you. There are some men that when they meet you, they start by buying you Ferrari, Bugatti, Fendi, when the money is no longer there, it becomes a problem. Now, there's something I need to teach you about relationship. When you meet people, you train them. It is that training you give to them that they go with. And remember, it is difficult to bend a dry stick. So I always tell a lot of men, even if you are wealthy, you are very, very rich, don't show a woman that first time. Because a lot of men, what they do is when they want to get a woman, they want to impress you. They come with different cars, serere, and all that. Right? Then this is the impression you've given the woman. You've given her a particular lifestyle that she's used to. The moment you can no longer maintain that lifestyle, she will run. That's the honest truth. So if you're a wealthy man, I would say start small, small. Start from buying her normal shoes. Then as you evolve, you now begin to take her up. Don't take her up and bring her down. Start from slow by slow. It's a step. Don't take a woman to... Fear, make, start, don't make a woman who is entering bus to start flying private jets. It will be a big problem. If she's entering bus, start with economy. From economy, you'll be seen after like two years, you move her to business class. From business class, so once in a while, you even tell her, baby, use your money. You are training a woman to be independent. It is only men who want to sleep with you and get you that will want to be spending on you. That's the reason why a lot of girls are looking for sugar daddy. When you see a man that gives you everything you ask for, all he wants from you is sex. But when a man truly loves you, it's okay to ask questions. There is always up and down. Even that your sugar daddy that you are following, his wife is going through a lot. Your sugar daddy only appears when he has money. But when he's broke, it is his wife that shoulders him, that covers him. There's a woman out there that is bringing out the best in that man that you are desiring. Every... Um, Every rich man today that you are admiring and wishing, oh God, give me a Dangote, give me an Elomox, give me a Mike Zubako. There is a woman that is doing the work and you are just seeing the surface. So I'm going to tell a lot of men, it's not a crime, but please, when you're getting into a relationship and a marriage, you know the buga, start with these guys. Let the woman love you for you, not for what you have to give to her. No matter how rich you are, start by taking her to small, small restaurants. Look at her face first, her impression. There's something many men do not know. And I'm going to share this secret on this, on this show. Women don't like money. Women like love. Give a woman money, she will give it to a boy that will show her love. As we did for Lagos now, another city. All the, almost all the wealthy men's wife are dating small boys. Why? The small boys are the ones that will take time, massage their leg, make love to them. You know, give them the cypheralic plates. Once you are rich, you no longer have time. And you know the irony of the whole anointing? These rich men, if you see the way they actually lick the side chicks plates, they don't want to lick their wife. When they get to their wife, they'll be forming odogu. When they go to side chick, you see them carrying handbag. It's vice versa. So I'm going to tell a lot of men that the truth about it is that your wives, especially rich men, if you see the way small boys are controlling them, ha! <laughs> You are going to put in more effort. So the secret I am telling you is forget the noise on the media. Women don't like money. They like love. There are some women that come for therapy and tell me that, God, I wish my husband would still be poor. And I'll ask them why. They said they enjoyed him when he didn't have money than when he had money. It now shows that the men, you need to actually sit up. Money has a way of changing a man. That's why some of your wife are always praying that you should never be rich. <laughs> so I think if you're a rich man, you need to make a conscious effort to also still show your wife love. I know when there is money, women will also throw themselves at you. But if you want to build a good home, 
and stop crying about DNA. Please go home and do those things you do with your side chick to your wife. We have a caller. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing? What's your name, darling? I'm Zigabel calling from the Tarkant. Okay, Zigabel, what do you have to share on the video? You have a very sexy voice, though. Thank you. The voice can tell me my outfit is beautiful. Thank you so much. So do you have anything you want to contribute to your opinion to the lady? What do you think? Okay, this is what I think. If you actually wanted to sleep around, help her husband. I think she, that was her choice. She shouldn't take it like the man owes her anything in return. Because the person that said she should go and confess to the husband, if she confesses to the husband, it will give him more grounds to even cheat, like to make it worse. To get, whenever she tries to talk about the whole cheating aspect, he might like go like, okay, but after all, you did this. Hmm. You get that cheating, that if she even confesses to him, it will make it worse. It will give him more morale, more guts, guts to do worse things to her. So what do you advise the woman to do right now? She should just suck it up? I think she should just suck it up and just learn to live with the fact that men are like that. Okay. I, I, I think that's just um, a personal... Let's just use that to... Cons may she use that one whole body? That like all men are cheating. Yeah, may she just use that one whole body, yes. <laughs> Okay, thank you so much, Danny. I think I like this advice. You're very intelligent. <laughs> thank you so much for calling. God bless you. I think I like this caller. She made a very important point. Just use our whole body because for marriage, you make. Let me even teach you something about love. When you are in love, you make excuses for people that you love. It is excuse that keeps you one year, two years, and decades in marriage. Go and ask people that have been 15. 29 years in marriage. It's not because the marriage is perfect. It's because they continue to make excuses for their husband. So I think I'm going to accept this beautiful lady. Just tell yourself, my beautiful woman, all men are cheats. Come on, I. Get busy. If you have kids, focus on your children. Let me tell you something about cheating too. Cheating the sweet when you put I for man. Once your husband begins to cheat, no send them. As he start to cheat, start to dress, start to go out, even if you know they go anywhere, just carry khaki, drive, they come out, they put them for your WhatsApp statue. He will become insecure. Now, let me tell you why men cheat and women get offended. It's because the moment you get a man and get married, you leave yourself. You will see that hot, fine girl when she was single. The moment she marries, she becomes auntie. As you see me here, I'm a mother of two. I don't even greet her, I don't born. In fact, it was an irony. I am single and searching, I never born one. Yes. That's the packaging. That's what a lot of women forget. Because you're a mother, you're a wife, you're a this, doesn't mean you should always look like a baby girl. See the way I'm looking now. Even your husband self now, they say, oh, mom, see this fresh bread. You're not going to say, I be old hen. But you know, say we know they agree. Shakara, they are our body. So as a woman, I would say, instead of chasing a man, he cheeto, he no cheeto. When a man start cheating, start dressing up. Put that energy in yourself. If you're not wearing makeup, start it. If you're not, in fact, your husband will be the one that will get home and be saying, where are you? You say, I went out. I went for shopping. I took the key. He'll become insecure. A man cheats when he leaves an ugly woman at home. If you're a beautiful woman, your husband will be cheating and still be calling you, baby, where are you? Where are you? So most times, the cheating hurts because the man becomes nonchalant. I have seen men that cheat and they are still very possessive about their wife. Yes, because men who cheat are the most insecure men because they always think that what their wife did, what they are doing is what their wife is also doing. Now, she's actually asking us, is it a karma? Because she's feeling like it's a boomerang, like it's karma. Is it because I actually slept with different men to get my husband a job? Is that why he's sleeping around? So that's what we're talking about. The last caller actually made a very unique point because the first caller said, confess to your husband. The other caller said, don't confess. Because the moment you confess, he uses it against you. A man that has started cheating when you are still looking innocent. Imagine when you now go and tell him that I am guilty. Ah, ah hey, hey. Every morning when he wake up in the morning, you are a cheat. In the afternoon, you are a bastard. In the evening, give me DNA. If I will pack all your children and go and do DNA. And that thing can actually be very, very traumatizing for women. So I'm going to say, women, learn to shut up. 
We are still getting more calls. Please feel free to call the number on your screen to share your opinion. Make it not be like saying I only bless in the talk. We have a caller on the line. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? I'm fine. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hello. I can hear you. Turn down the volume of your television so I can hear you. Okay. Turn it down, darling. I'm fine. Okay, I can hear you now. My name is Dami. I'm calling from Lagos. I love you, bless you, see you. I love you too, my darling. I'm calling from Lagos. Okay, darling. So do you want to drop an opinion? Okay. Um, what I want to say is that there is no point for us to tell an old man. I don't see any reason why she wants to tell an old man. That was not stopping from cheating. Can you hear me? I can hear you there, yeah. Can you reduce the volume of your TV so I can hear you? Turn down the volume of your TV, my darling. I won't be able to hear you if the volume is up. Hello? Okay, guys, please, if you're calling the number, just turn down the volume. I know you want to hear yourself. I know you want to see yourself, but if the volume is high, I can hear you. So once you're calling, turn down the volume of your TV, okay, so that I can hear you. Or you run away from the television. We have another caller. Hello. 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 Good evening, sir. Yeah. Good, good, good evening. Sir, can we know where you're calling from and your name, please? I'm calling from Abuja. Okay, so, so, okay, sir. So you want to drop your opinion concerning the topic? I'm uh, calling from Gwagwalada. I can I'm hear you, sir. Go ahead. Do you want to share your opinion concerning the topic or you have something you want to ask? Go ahead, sir. I know that uh, some people... So, you know you know that uh, women that used to marry those days? Yes. <laughs> Uh, it depends the kind of love. You understand that you show your woman. You understand? Okay. Uh, and so women don't deserve love. You understand? Uh, okay. When you are showing their love, you understand? Uh, they prefer to mingle outside. You understand what I'm saying? I don't uh, understand, that sir. That is not the right thing. You understand? No, no, I don't Once understand, your sir. your man is taking care of you properly. You understand? I don't so understand, sir. Of, you understand? No, sure sir. Love. Sir, yeah? I don't I don't understand anything you said. You said if you're showing a woman love, that I she said, doesn't appreciate I it. Said, I said that, eh? I said that, eh? Yes, sir. I said that a woman that you love, you marry, understand, I put in your house. You understand? Okay. You understand? I, I really love the woman, so you understand, you really yes, love him, love her, so you okay. understand. So, the love you are showing your woman, you understand. So, women don't appreciate it, okay. You understand, they like to mingle outside, you understand. And uh, so, that's what my opinion is. But once you people understand yourself, you understand, that is love, okay, and marriage, okay. Thank you so much, sir. God bless you for calling. Thank you so much, sir. Now, this caller was, I, I, I think he, he actually gave us a different perspective from what we were talking about. But he was saying, trying to say there are lots of women that you keep in your house and they don't appreciate love. That's true. I, the reason why I was shouting I don't understand is because I didn't want him to generalize it some. Because, me, I like love. Yes, there are some women that are anti-love. These women who are anti-love are women who were not brought up with love. You need to understand women that you date. You know, these days, eh, in our place, I'm an Igbo person. I don't know about other culture. For the Igbos that are watching, there's what we call a juju. When you want to get married, there's what is called questioning. Your parents in those days will go and question and know the roots of your background, know the lineage of where you are married from. These days, the reason why marriage does not work, you will just pick anybody from the streets. Carrie Bele, I am in love. These are the issues. This man has actually brought a very, very important insight about marriage. Many women are not groomed with love. Many women did not have fatherly love. I'm also going to say this and use myself as an example. I married at the age of 18. I started dating at the age of 15. Why? My father was always busy. When you see women, that most men always think that when you see a young girl, 
that she's wayward. No, that young innocent girl will cling onto the first man that shows her affection and love. That's why at that puberty age, if you're a mother, you are a father and you are watching, it is that age that you will begin to show your child love. If there is love at home, you will breed a responsible child. I'm going to give an instance of somebody I have watched for so long, DJ Koopy. Do you see how her father treats her? DJ Kupi has gotten into different relationships, and when she comes out, she's proud to say I'm out of the relationship. Why? There is love at home. She knows that no matter what happened, daddy is always there for me. I even see her sister. The father goes to visit them. In fact, the father has played the role of a husband, a brother, and also a boyfriend. That is what men should do. When we have more of good fathers who can stand by their daughters, you will not see wayward girls. This waywardness starts from, you go say, picking where they're 11 years, don't spoil. Picking where they're 12 years, don't spoil. No, they did not know anything. They could just go, and one man just show them love. Every day, this particular man that gives this beautiful girl, girl small girl, biscuits. That is how men start to molest your young children. That was how me, I started at 15. I met someone at 15. It wasn't that we were even having sex. But this guy was so nice to me. He bought me a phone. He was always calling me. So I saw him like a father figure because he was like 15 years older than me. Then. So there was this father figure. There was this love. He calls me 24 hours. My father, the only time he talks to me is when, what's the position in school? What did you do? Your mother said, he's always complained. My father never one day called me to sit me down. It's even now that I'm an adult that I grew up and I told my father the pains of why I got married. Because when I was getting married at 18, my father wept. He was asking me, is there anything he wasn't providing? But at that age, I didn't understand. He was growing up, becoming a relationship expert. I now had to open up to my parents. I started understanding what a lot of young girls are going through, right? I now told my dad, I married early because there was no love. That man that I married was the one that showed me love, bought me phone. At the age of 15, he was the first man to dash me 5,000. Do you see what he enticed me with as a young girl? It's not that when you see all these 11 year, 13 year, they are not wayward. It's because there's no love at home. So I'm going to say to a lot of men, before you get married to your wife, please do a background check. Some of us are coming from broken homes. Some of us are coming from toxic places. Some of us are healing. So when you meet us, we will bleed on you. And I will tell a lot of women, we need to be able to start accepting that some of us are bad women. Bad doesn't make you a bad person. First of all, the first beginning to repentance is acceptance. A lot of you women know where you are coming from. I'm going to say it. Where, why growing up? I watched my parents fight. And as I was growing up, I became a tomboy and I was toxic growing up. Anybody that knows me in secondary school, Oluwale Christ the King, Ejibo, or that went to Federal Government College, up with me, I was a tomboy. Why? I watched my parents do battle to battle, war to war. Each time I go to school, I always bend down my head and cry. It was because of me, one day I confronted my mom and my dad and told them that I will run away if they fight again. So my parents never fought again from that day. So most times, parents, it is you people that groom us to become who we are. We are watching you. Forget all these things you be saying, you came first. You came first. We're not saying a lie. I was a good girl. No. There is what is called gene. Any traits you see in your child, it is what they learned from you and what they learned from their peers. So as parents, the reason why we leave a certain kind of life to our children is so that they can emulate it. Personally, I used to say my mother is my role model. I never saw my, apart from the fights, I never saw my mom with any man. I never saw my mom live a wayward life. All I saw my mother did was hustle. And the time she used to fight my father is about money. Bring money for food. Bring money for food. You know, in those days now, things were not so stable. So I'm going to talk to all the parents. We are all girl children. I was once young. And these days, the social media has exposed a lot of young people. Parents, it's time to do your job. 11 years are already sleeping around. 10 years are already sleeping around. I am very honest. That your small girl that you think is innocent, she is no more innocent. So the, we have a call. Hello? 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 Hi, darling. Can you hear me? 
I can hear you. Okay, welcome to Moments with Bless and see you. Please, what's your name and where are you calling from? Um, my name is Silva. Okay. I'm calling from Port Harcourt. Nice to have you on the show. So do you have anything you want to contribute, opinion or questions? You um, well, uh, for the topic, <laughs> it's funny anyway. She doesn't have any right to tell her husband. Thank you. Because her husband will always cheat. Mm. Listen, there are good men out there. And there's good women out there. Believe me, I have met good men and I've met bad men. Mm. And when I met a good man, I, I abused it. I lose it to another woman. And I learn from it. Mm. And right now, I have a good man in my life. He has never cheated one day. Mm. We're, we're engaged now about to get married. That was one hell of a good man that I have right now in my life. I want to ask you a question, beautiful. I, What's your definition of a good man? How do you listen, rate a good man? Uh, okay, my definition of good man. Mm -hmm. uh, listen, it's not money. Okay. It's Hello. not money. Okay, go ahead. Character matters. Okay. So what character, character, what character traits? A lot of men don't have. No, now, I want us to break it down so that the viewers could understand. What are these character traits that we need to look out for to know that, okay, this person is a good man? Yes. Okay, tell okay, us the I'll traits. I will tell you. Okay, go ahead. What I understand about good man. Go ahead. I can hear you. Hello? I can hear you. Go ahead. I can hear you, darling. Okay. For me, what I understand by good man out there, listen... Let me tell you one to bless you. I admire you a lot, eh? <laughs> I've been following you for a very long time now. Thank you. Good man. Some men don't have attitude. Some men don't have character. The way they treat their wife or their girlfriend. Mm. Some are so rude, abusive. I have once dated a man before. If I go to the market, if I didn't come early, he will, only, he will tell me maybe I, I, I went to see somebody else. Okay. That makes the relationship couldn't even last. Okay. I have to run. He was so toxic. I have to run away. He was always abusing me. Sometimes he give me a death. My parents have never slapped me before, but he was slapping me. Mm. At a point in my life, I said, no, this is not what I want. Yes, I wanted to get married, but not this way. way. I left him. Okay. And since I left him, it, I took a break for like one year. Wow. I didn't date anyone. That's I was cool. just beating on myself, trying to like, uh, uh, I don't want to make another wrong decision. You were healing. It took me a while before I dated again, before I met this, my fiance now. Mm -hmm. He have never raised the voice before. He have never hit me before. We talk like two civilized people, two okay. adults. Because oh. we're two grown people. Wow, I, I'm so happy for you. Like this is what I'm most... coming. I'm coming from a different background. He's coming from a different from background. background. Okay. We talk like two grown ass. Wow, I'm so happy for this call, beautiful. Like you're one person so, who actually. She don't need to tell her husband. Okay. Thank you so much. I, I really love this caller for what she said. Now, let's pick a very vital lesson from this caller before we get the next caller. She said something. When she was in a toxic relationship, she realized that this is not what she wanted. And she gave herself one year to heal. The biggest problem we have as women is that once we are jumping out of this relationship, we are jumping into... I used to ask women, when do you used to jump to? Someone will finish slapping you. When I came out of my relationship, when I say this online, people do not understand. I am glad that we have women that can relate. It took me five years to heal. Any man that comes close to me, we call it slap. Because my ex-husband beats me to the point that I started retaliating. I was bleeding on every man that came around me. So... It was when I visited a therapist and a pastor, they said, blessing, leave men alone and go and heal. I now had to start healing because there's an experience you will have. And that's why I always tell women, don't sleep around. Don't date too many people. It's not because I'm trying to be a sense, but there's something that happens when you sleep around and you date too many people. You become an insecure woman. Like me now, like this woman said, 
I can boldly tell you on TV, since my life, I don't know what cheating is. I left my ex-husband for domestic violence. No, he wasn't a cheat. He comes back home every 7 o'clock. Anytime I go to his office, I will see him in the bank. So it was domestic violence. Now, the problem is a lot of women, you need to heal. Many men are not actually the problem. I'm actually happy for this caller. At least she gave men credit. Let's not look as if every time we're always dragging men or we are feminists. We actually have good men. And you heard what the woman said. She said, there was a time she had a good man. She did not appreciate it. Now, we went back to that man who called us, who said, there are some women that do not appreciate love. Now, you see that it's beginning to balance. Now, as a woman and as a man, as you're watching this show, you will now talk to your conscience because the reality about it is that now you know what thing you they do. And some people know what thing that they do, but some of them don't know what thing they do them. So now for this show, we're going to tell you what thing they do you. A lot of you are broken. You bleed on other people. There are men that are good men, but again, what thing women don't do them. They can't they retaliate for the next woman. It's just like... When you meet a man that was nice to a woman and the woman cheated on him, the next woman that he's going to date is going to see Shege Banza. You know why? He will bleed on her. He will always feel that every woman is a cheat. Nobody was born bad, though. All these bad characters and toxic behaviors are the things that we learned, the people that we date. When I tell people that I can stay for two years and I don't talk to a man, some people think it's a lie. No, it's because I'm a certified therapist and I've understood psychology. So I stay on my own. We have a caller. Let's hear from the caller. Hello. 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 I can hear you. Can you turn down the volume of your TV, darling? Okay, go ahead. I can hear you now. Oh, we lost the caller. I'm hoping she's going to call back. So I was actually talking about bleeding. So if you're a man and you're a woman, before you start jumping from relationship to relationship, when I say sometimes some certain things on the media, people don't understand me. They think I am anti-marriage. They don't even know that I'm a lover girl. But because I've had an experience and I learned from my experience and I survived my experience, that's why I am not ashamed to share my story. Yes, a lot of you are bleeding in your marriage. A lot of you just married for marrying sake. So I used to tell a lot of women that you will finish living all this bad life giving your best to fuck boys, gigolos, then when the good man comes into your life, you'll be giving him your worst. That is why some men will say, I am so loving. I am not cheating, yet I have a bad wife. Why? Is because that woman that you married has given her best to different men. You are the last bus stop. You are now collecting the beating, the gas bus. In fact, she's revenging with you. The same thing with men. So I'm going to say, please, we have good men and we actually have good women out there. Don't generalize. Just because you made a bad choice, don't forget, say, now you go choose the woman. Nobody force you. Now you use your legs. Say, now big and she wants. Say, now bless. So if I should break your heart, do not generalize and say, oh, it's because blessing broke my heart. No, every woman is not the same. We are all have different characters and different traits. So we have a caller. Hello. Hello. Please, can you turn down the volume of your radio or television so I can hear you, darling? I can't hear Hello? you, the volume. Hello? Hello? Hello, I can hear you, ma'am. Good evening. Good evening. Can, please, can we know your name and where you're calling from? Hello? Yeah, I'm calling from Imo State. Okay, ma'am. So do you want to contribute to the show? Is there anything you want to share or any the advice you want to give to the woman? Did you did you follow up with the show? Hello? Yeah, it's about the last call I had. Okay, please go ahead, ma'am. I can hear you. She talked about um, her boyfriend being faithful. very faithful and every other thing. Yeah. I know there are good men. I won't say there are no good men. Mm hmm but all I want to drop there is just most good men, or when you say your boyfriend is not, you should know it that person is either not financially stable or mm -hmm. is trying to make it in life. So talking about her relationship being a perfect one and not being a perfect one is not a key. 
Because I don't see a man who doesn't have money giving a perfect relationship. I don't really? see a man who doesn't have money giving a perfect relationship or being faithful. I know one thing that any man who is not financially buoyant can be very faithful, but once money comes, they become something else. They become so toxic and every other thing. Okay. Then the other question, which is the topic, okay, is talking about the woman telling her husband. No, she, she didn't expect much from her husband because one, her husband didn't know the sacrifices she made to get him that job. Oh. Mm. So she doesn't need to expect anything from the husband because he doesn't know. You can always be grateful to what you know about, not what you don't know mm. about. So if you expect him to be grateful to her, then she should tell him. Then that is where she can either be appreciated or not to be appreciated. So that's my one piece. So if she wants to be appreciated, then she should let the cat out of the net or out of the cage. Okay. Thank you so much, ma'am. God bless you. Wow. I, I, I love the show because I, I have a lot of intelligent, vast people talking. She said something very important. And if you're this woman and you're watching the show, it's very important, very important. She said, this man, she made a very vital point. Let's pick point that point. Let's write it down. Pick your pen and paper. One, 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 one. Begin to jot things down. She said, the only thing people appreciate is what they know. They don't appreciate what they don't know. That is why sometimes if we want to do giveaway, we will come and show you. Because if we don't show you online, you will not agree that we are doing giveaway. That's by the way. So to the beautiful woman, if you're expecting appreciation from your husband, you should let the cat out of the bag. But the truth is, your husband doesn't even know the sacrifice that you went now. But I want to tell you something as a woman. If you want appreciation by sleeping around, it simply means for you to sleep around to get a man a job, you have been a prostitute, you've been a runs girl. You did not just start today. That means you, were, you slept to get your own work. Because me, I will not sleep around to get any man work. Instead, if I want to assist my husband, I will save my salary and tell him, baby, take this two million, start Uber driving. Me, I'm not going to use my body do for man. So I feel this woman just gave another better perspective. It was something you did on your own. The man no send you. And you did not tell the man, baby, I want to go and sleep with 10 people. And he said, go ahead. Now you use your leg, waka, do the work what you're supposed to do. Because if you want to be blunt, make I tell you, babe, we send this story. You they do runs. Because it sounded so easy for you to say you slept with different men. Not one, not two, not three. Now, even if you go and meet your husband now and tell him that you want to confess that you slept with men, he will never trust you again to the day you die. My slogan is women. There's a reason why God gave you a heart. And the reason why he gave you a heart is so that you can close your mouth. Because not only the thing where you talk, nine people know. So, women, shut up. You get some secrets where you know go talk. Close your mouth. If confession, the hungry, you are beg. Go church, go confess to Jesus Christ. Go on your knees. We have another caller. Hello. Hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Welcome to Moments with Blessing. See you. Please, where's, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, darling. I can hear you. Can you turn down your TV I'm calling set? calling you from Lagos. My name is Isis. Okay, Vicky, how are you doing? You want to share your opinion? Go ahead, I can hear you. Turn down your TV set. Hello? Please, uh, blessing to you, please. Okay. That, that woman should not say her husband because, you know, women are like, uh, men are like uh, higher assassin. You say because men are like higher assassin. That woman say, uh, How do you when I got that, that man will chase her away. I'm telling like you, oh, okay, okay, yeah, ta 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 ta. Like yeah, when this so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, do you know? Hello. Oh, we've lost that caller. Ah, in fact, eh. She doesn't even need to call back. She just dropped one very correct line. Ude bending so she said, men are like higher assassin. Men are better go. No give us rat. But that was a very powerful word. Higher assassin say, 
Once you cheat, men no one know why you cheat or what make you cheat. The part say you cheat. Hello. 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 Can you turn down the volume of your TV? Turn down the volume of your TV. I can't hear you. Please. Hello. I can hear you now. Better. Turn down the volume. Hello. Hello, blessing. I can hear you, darling. How are you doing? I'm fine. Good can evening. You, can you tell us your name and where you're calling from? I'm Bibi, the CEO of Bibi House of Beauty. I'm calling CEO. from Abuja. Oh, um, 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 give us your opinion, CEO in the building. <laughs> um, I don't feel that the lady should not say her husband. Let it just be that way. She should be praying for the man, Pray for him to change, for the home to become better. Because once she confesses, the home will just get broken. So, so what should what should be what should be her prayer point? What should be her prayer Men, point? Whether you did it on a legal ground, they cannot take cheating. In fact, so, that man will end up not even sleeping with her again. So my CEO, I, see, I want to ask you a question. Man. What should be her prayer point when she's praying to God? Should she say, eh, God? She's not praying that the man should change. Will she wear cheats, Unko? Eh? She also cheated now. She eh, was she dating the man and sleeping around. This is the prayer we're talking about now. Eh? <laughs> okay, she should just go to God in prayer and accept her faith. Yes, yeah, she should just go to God in prayer and nah, change this, now. This advice go hard, though. Anyway, I love your hair, blessing. I love your hair. It's dripping glory. That's how we roll, baby. Thank you so much for calling. God bless you, and I love you too, CEO. Wow, I think. Okay, bye. Okay, bye, darling. Wow, I think I love this color. She was very live. She said, no talk, oh. She just repeated what I said. Like I said, she no waiting I talk. She said, go to God in prayer. My sister, my brother, if you want to, men can confess to women. It is only men that will go to women and say, baby, I impregnated three women outside, and I have three kids. We go shout, 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 shout. The only thing we go say that say no carry the woman into our house, but we they see they marry the man. But men, ordinary children they cry. In fact, I get one man where one where get BP because he hears say in wife one of him picking no being picking. He never do DNA. He just hear. He be like HIV. You know say HIV. You never do test. You just hear say you get HIV. You go don't die. You go don't they work out like HIV patient. So women. The reality of this is that men are very fragile. Forget say they say women are the weaker vessels. Now like you. We can absorb. We are more to tax a mother than men. Men are babies. In fact, men are the easiest people to follow. So we absorb. If women show you the kind of secrets where they have mind, trust me, you go wrong, come out. So women, I go tell you now. I beg. You get some kind of secrets where you go keep to yourself. You go carry and enter your grave. Yes. Especially things like futuristic you know all this secret where I slept with man, I did sugar, daddy, shuts up your mouth. The only secret that you should tell your husband or your boyfriend is futuristic secrets. Example, I had a child or you have a medical condition that can affect him. If it is not futuristic, my sister, shut up your mouth. So let me tell you, no matter how a man loves you, he doesn't forgive cheating, especially African men. So please, women, if you cheat, you slept around, the woman just said something very important. You did it at your own risk. So long as the man no send you, keep it to yourself. And just lie to yourself. Like I said from the beginning, a lot of us, the only way you can love is through lie. If you notice this caller that actually, there was a caller that said, my husband is faithful. I didn't want to argue with her because that is what the man has shown her. So I'm going to tell a lot of men, a woman can actually trust you, but even if you want to do your cheating, do it with respect now. This cheating thing is when you rub it off a woman's face. And you women, where they get busy, but the way they press, press phone. Picky, 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 your husband go to sleep. He go use face ID, use pan ID, lock phone. Investigative journalist, you want break code, break password. You break and finish. You see the girl, you go cry, say, baby, what did I do wrong? What you did wrong was going to break the passcode. When people put padlock in the gate, it simply means knock before you enter. Women, you say respect yourself. What do you want to see? Because many women who are anxious to catch their husband cheating never leave the marriage. I used to say, stop investigating when you cannot persecute. You know that when you catch your boyfriend, you will not go. When you go on the media right now and the noise, I caught my, you will see two girls fighting for one man. This man is cheating on them, but they are fighting for him. 
and you are still in love with him. No. One thing about cheating is that once you allow a man to start doing it, if a man cheats on you one, two, three, four times, he has killed the respect. He has already known that you are a woman that is insecure. The biggest punishment for cheating is hiding. Write that down. If your husband is still hiding like cockroach, like rats, sneaking into, he respects you. Because the real meaning of respect is hiding. A lot of people will say, that's the truth. Now what thing you know see, now what thing you know know, be fidelity. I am faithful to you because you have not caught me. Now person where they catch, be thief. So women, when you are doing all this, your are kurukere waka. You define this thing where you go. Please yeah. respect yourself. Hello, we have a caller. Hello. 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 Can you talk? Yeah. Turn yes, on the line. I can hear you, darling. Yeah, I'm calling from Portacourt. My yeah. name is Linda, calling from Portacourt. Nice to have you, ma'am. Please quickly share your opinion. What do you have to say about the show? We are almost rounding up. Oh, she's gone. I think the network has probably the call is going to come back. So I was actually talking to the beautiful women in the house. Please, women are bigger, 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 bigger. I'm tired of hearing all the story. It's becoming so, so, so rampant. People should respect yourself. You understand? Respect yourself. Leave a man's phone alone. Some people will say, blessing, no. So long as I'm married to a man, everything that belongs to him belongs to you. Hello, we have another caller. Hello. Hello. I can hear you, darling. How are you doing? Hello. Hello. I can hear you, darling. Can you turn down the, your TV? Turn down the volume of your TV. Hello. I can hear you. Turn down the volume of your TV. I'm happy to see you, baby CEO. Happy to see you, my darling, too. So do you have anything you want to share on the show? Hello. Good evening. Good evening, darling. I can hear you. Do you want to contribute anything on the topic or you want to ask a question? Please make it snappy, darling. My name is Donnie. I'm calling for me. Okay, darling. Go ahead. Do you want to share something or you want to contribute something? We are hearing you. Hello? Yeah. Ah, uh, we lost the caller. She can get to call back. Please, when you're calling, turn down the volume of your TV. I know you want to be hearing yourself, but if you put on the volume of your TV, I won't be able to hear you. I was actually talking to the beautiful women in the house, and I'm saying, please stop investigating when you cannot persecute. A lot of women come and say, blessing, after all, so long as I'm married to him, his phone is my phone. The Bible said, I will take you to the Bible. I'm a male quote, so Bible. You people think I'm a pagan because I'm looking all sexy. I go to church. The Bible said, so we come together in agreement. Now only when your husband agree, make you touch your phone, you go agree. Not the thief your husband phone, the fake password. The thief in phone when they sleep. Now see, you go go and fire. Men, leave your wife's phone alone. The only time is when your husband gives you his password. Except you will go to her fire. All of you men that are sneaking, that's thing you are looking for. And that is the reason why when you sneak into your husband phone, you will find something. That is the punishment God gave you for stealing. Oh, she can so, my darling, leave your husband's phone alone. Eh? He's stealing. Because after seeing that thing you want to see now on WhatsApp, you will now start calling me and say, Bless is here. My husband is cheating. And I'm very, very sure that this woman who actually shared her story, she go down waka one kurukere waka, go find say the man they cheats. She go down pressing phone. She go down do one or two things. So, I'm going to tell a lot of women. Many women always say, I want peace of mind. I want peace of mind. Can I tell you what peace of mind is? Peace of mind simply means what you give to yourself. A man cannot give you peace. A woman cannot give you peace. Peace is who you are. You will find peace in yourself. Because the reason why everybody's getting into a relationship Hello. and a marriage. Hello, we have a caller. How are you doing? I'm fine. Okay, what's your name and where you're calling from? Quickly tell us oh. your opinion because we don't have so much oh, yes. time. My name is Fe. I'm calling for Fester. Okay, please. You want to share something or you want to ask a question? Hello, Precious. I can hear you. Go ahead. Can you turn down the volume of your TV, please? So, like I told you, blessing to you. May I, like, hire assassin. Okay. They are looking for who to shoot. But they, but knife can't pass on their head. Wow, wow! I like that statement, and I, I'm going to say it in Igbo. Thank you so much, darling. I like that. God bless you for that. So this lady, I think she's the lady that called previously. She said men are like ayah assassins, so they cannot align knife pass through their head. Let me speak it in Igbo. 
to my Igbo people, Yoruba people, you help me to translate it. Obuma di ekwe kama gaya ni si. People where they hold on. Once they hear ta 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 ta, they go begin run. You don't ever wonder why arm robbers where they key. When police catch them, they go begin beg. You gonna say, oh God, Shebina, you don't shoot 52 people. You reach your tongue, you they say, forgive me, forgive you. Ah. We are not for, so that is men for you. So as a woman, you need to be very, very careful. We, I'm not encouraging you to live a wayward life, but in a condition, I make crayfish bend. I don't judge anybody. Life takes us into places that we don't even know it's gonna take us. But when you find that person you love and you want to settle, all things are passed away and everything has become new. Format your brain. When you meet a man and he asks you, baby, can you tell me about your past? I can't remember. The only thing I remember, baby, is you. You occupy the whole of my life. And I love you so much. I love you so much that I can't even remember my ex. Now, so with the drum. Ladies, I know some men, they listen to this show, but this one at the new scope. Memory loss. The moment you just enter a relationship like this, format your brain. Baby, what about the last person that you dated? I can't even remember. The moment I fell in love with you, baby, all the love you gave me occupied my brain. Okay, see, I assume I'm working. See, you was their head. They'll be feeling like king. Not so with the drum. So we're waiting for the next callers to call, guys. Please feel free when you're calling in. Tune down the volume of your television. We have a caller. Hello? Hello? Turn down the volume of your television, darling. Can, I, can you hear me? Can you turn the volume of your television? I can hear you. Good evening, darling. How are you? I can hear you, darling. Go ahead and contribute. Okay, Chidi, my calling from Enugu. Okay, nice to have you. You want to contribute or you want to ask a question? Please make it snappy because we have very little time. Can you hear me? I can hear you, darling. Go ahead. Okay, in terms of what you are saying, I think the lady should just forget the man, focus on her life, because she's a big girl. Before meeting the man, for her to go to higher places and get things for her to be for the husband, I think she should just think, just leave the guy. Because when I just believe, when she just start living her life, the man will come back and start suspecting her because she's a big girl for sleeping with high class men for getting a job for the man. I think he sh he should just live his life. The lady should just live her life. Live the life until the man doesn't exist. Because one thing I believe, I'm married for 10 years. Okay. I'm, for 10 years of marriage, I'm married at the age of 23. Yes, I'm starting a marriage for 10 years. I now came to understand that when you're so attached to a man, he, he thinks that you can't live without him. But when you always believe in yourself that this man is just married that binds you two, two, two together, you can still get something out of yourself. You can still on Sundays, you dress, you walk out, you come back by eight, come back by nine. The man will be suspecting you. The man will feel insecure. Hmm. So in as much as the guy, the woman has slept with another man to get his husband a job, that means he knows high class men. He knows your doubles. He should just find and start talking to those men he's talking to. He should just live his life. He has a life, she, she has a life she was living before the man came into her life. She should mm -hmm. just go there and start her living. Soon, wow. the man will come back to his senses. Wow, thank you because so much. Because men are like babies. Yes, you're right. Thank when you, you understand so marriage, you understand that men are like babies. babies. They don't have sense at times. Thank you so, so much. So I believe that every man has a mumu button. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for calling. Wow. Man, you put a lie women, we know. She said, men have, are like babies. Men are like mumu. We know how to press people's mumu button. Now, she used the very, you know, vernacular language. Yes, men are actually big babies. That's why we call them babies. They are big babies. So, but she actually made a very important point. She said, um, move on with your life. Now, do you know it's easier to give advice than to follow the advice? And me, you know, if people know me, if you know Bless and See You, I'm a realist. It will be hard. Now, do you know that for this woman to sleep around to get this man a job and got married to this man, I'm sure that they're going to have kids. She would have allowed that life go. If this woman was still living that same life, this thing would not be paining her. 
I'm a psychologist. When I read a story, even without seeing you, I know the back end. She's feeling hot because she's not sleeping around. Any woman that does not get hot by her husband cheating has something that is keeping her busy. Either you are flirting, there's something keeping you busy. Either your job, do you know you can cheat with your job? There are some women that we work 24 hours. They don't want to go home. They get up and sleep. You can cheat with your um, goose. You can cheat. Cheating does not necessarily mean Cheating is what you give the major attention to. That's why some men will say, my wife will not work. Why? They don't want a situation whereby they will call you. You are cheating with your job. Because cheating with your job does not mean you are sleeping with a man. You are, somebody is pinning you down in the office. You are working in the bank. My wife will wake up by 5 and come back by 8. For what now? To men is cheating. So I'm going to say it's not really that easy. I'm going to say to the woman also, make me use dialogue, take full arm. Women, when your man starts cheating, this woman made a very important point. Make them feel like they don't exist. I said it. Now when you the push woman up and down like that, they go kill you. They are your assassin. You don't hear them. They, they carry guns. They go everywhere. They fire. They want shoot. But when you carry small knife, they go. They begin shout. So I feel if you are in a cheating relationship or a cheating marriage, this is Africa. We are not applauding cheating. That's the honest truth. But there are things that we cannot do. There are things we cannot help. In life, there are some certain things where you know if you do anything about them. Whether you walk out, you cry, you go babala, will do anything. You end up affecting yourself. A lot of women who have taken laws into their hands are in prison. Because of this same cheating. Your husband cheated out of anger. You could stab him. The man go for die. Now, kiri kiri, now you go go. And it's for life. So the truth about it is that when these men start to misbehave, like this beautiful caller said, get busy. I used to tell women, get so, I am always so busy. Instead of me to go and be looking at a man's phone, I will go live on Instagram or I'll start reading. Look for other things that can preoccupy your mind and make you a better person. We have a caller. Hello. Hello. Good evening, sir. Oh, thank you. We're having the man. What's your name and where you're calling from? And what do you want to share, sir? Oh, my name is Yaku. Okay, please, could you turn down the volume of your TV and be audible? Sir, turn down the volume. I can barely hear you. Turn down the volume of your TV and be audible. Okay. Okay. I can hear you now, sir. Hello? I can hear you, sir. Go ahead. So, my name is Yaku. I'm calling from Olodia, Papa. Okay, sir. I can hear you. What do you want to share? Your opinion? Okay. I just want to add to what you what you are saying. Okay. Okay. To my to my own view, like we should just push this thing back, like to the to the to the olden to the days, like the way things normally be before before now, before civilization take place. Okay. Things are normally done right, but before civilization take place. Now civilization has take place. So okay. so many things are being changed. So you prefer we move so, back to the olden days, right? So what I'm just trying to pick out like so before civilization take place, there are things that normally goes on like before you marry, before you do everything that things like normally then. In okay. place, but now the take place. Okay. So we have peak on to civilization. All right, sir. Thank you so much. God bless you. This caller was he said he wanted us to go back to civilization. But the truth about it is that we cannot go back to civilization. We now have the Gen Z buddies and we now have the millennials. We are the millennials and the Gen Z buddies are the one in their twenties. So we are not going back to the twenties. People want to copy your evil. We want to wear English wear. When we start to speak in our mother's tongue, you people are the first people to call us illiterate. Now, you may want to go back to old. We are not going anywhere. We, we are here. Because it's even civilization that gave women voice. But the truth about it is that everything that is actually happening now happened during the times of our mothers. The difference was that there was no telephones. There was no um, social media. We had to go to our chief, our king, it's the same thing that is happening now. The same way we complain to the presidents, we protest. In those days, when people do things that are bad, you will see market women go naked to the king's office. It's the same thing we do now. If we no grief, we'll go stand for this in the back Tinubu, the back president, or guy airport. So I think it's still the same thing that happens in the olden days. The difference is that it is now more modified. There is now phone. People can now watch. I don't think there's anything different. It's still the same thing. Our mothers and our fathers suffered the same thing we are suffering. The difference why people think that the 
olden days was better was that there was no means of communication. Our mothers could not express. In fact, I need to tell you guys something. We are our mother's voices. Those women that were subdued by men that did not speak, we are speaking on their behalf because our mothers went through a lot. If you are an, a millennial or you are in your 30s or you are in your 40s and you go back to growing up and you want to reflect, you will see that there are some times you will see your mother cry and she cannot even tell you why she's crying because tradition said you cannot say some things. But now, I used to cry and I would see my children. My children would see me cry. Mommy, why are you crying? I will explain to them why I'm crying. Oh, they need to know. I think that was the difference. In the olden days, we were not expressive. There was fear because then um, there was no civilization. You get what you go talk, they go go burn you. In the olden days, if they had somebody like Blessing see you, if I don't bury me alive with this my mouth, so they run. <laughs> because in the olden days, it's people like us that are spoken that are called Ogbanji, that are called the ostracized. So I don't think there's anything different. I'm still going to say, choose. There are still some couples that are married and are doing well. Just know the people you're married to. Let's leave me a chambres and marry real people. We have another caller. Hello. Hello, good evening. We lost that caller. Please feel free to call. And when you're calling, please turn down. Hello. Hello. I can hear you. Hello. Mama Moto, my blessing. We move. How are you doing, darling? I'm, I'm Linda from Portacos. Okay, nice to meet you, darling. From so Linda you from Portacos. I can hear you. We move. We move. Can I don't want the volume say, of your TV. No matter what, eh, a married woman does for the, for the husband, maybe because he wants to better the, the man's life. <laughs> so if you want to better your man's life, eh, I prefer you go and confess to father rather than to confess to your husband because one day they will call you names like prostitute. You get it? Yeah. So me, if I'm in that show, I don't think I will confess to my husband because men, their mouth, eh? Once they are angry, they can tell you what that will lead you to depression. So I can't even be that kind of a woman in the first place. Let, he, let her just go to Father and confess and pray for God to help the husband to, to work with her. That's just all. Thank you so much. I love you, darling. Thank you so much for calling. We meal. I love you. Thank you so much, darling. She actually made a very, very important point. She said, "Men are very. We are still. We are still saying the same thing in a different language." And I'm happy that we have married couples who are actually sharing their experience. Women, I beg. You get some certain things where you could just close mouth. Men will always judge you. Any small misunderstanding, our shower will be your name. See the day where the man. In fact, some people, your husband never even catch you with man. They don't they call you a shower. Small message where you just type a shower. Not upon ring, can go open your mouth, can go do free confession, my darling. Now a shower they go call you. And trust me, this a shower will continue with your children. Your husband will sit there, your children, that the reason why I left your mother is because she was an a shower. Now, this is becomes a generational cause. There are some things that are left unsaid. Women are big. Uh, I know say when love they catch you now, when the man don't hit you here, hit you here, you don't they pour in our one Mary, you go to talk. Cho 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 cho. My sister, shut up. Shut up. You get some things where you they hide. Hide some things. I call this small, small, you know, things where we they do. We they even men to the wrong things. Now I make many men, no one even call talk. Because if they call talk, I go finish them. Now then people teach us how to cheat. This cheating, cheating, cheating. Now now teach us. Now, now send us this cheating, cheating, cheating message. Eh? So women, this is not a gender thing. Men, we are not encouraging cheating. I'm going to say men, please, try as much as possible to respect your woman. Love is about respect. Love is about being considerate. Love is about sharing, loving. I bet that's in where you know, say, person go do you and it go pain you. No do them to another person. It a pepe. I used to say, and I'm going to leave you with this word. If you give me something, right, and it hurts me, and I give it back to you, and you cannot take it, have that understanding that you are poisoning me. So we're going to catch you next time. This same station, Pop Central, DSTV, 189, Moments with Blessing, CEO. 
don't miss out because we are going to be giving you guys the buzz boost, the controversy, everything where they happen behind closed doors. Relationship and marriage, we will carry and they come pop center. In fact, set your alarm every Saturday by 10 p.m. I'm going to see you guys. I remember blessing CEO, your number one relationship and mental expert, controversial, the queen of buzz booze, one man me pull. As I see you guys next time, next Saturday, 10 p.m., we move. Goodbye.